Hello, everybody, and welcome to a single song reaction here on the channel. This is totally spur of the moment. We're recording this in the middle of another big session, and Chris had Chris Parker had to leave for a while, so I'm here with Chris Schoenberg, and we are going to listen to a rap song. <laughs> I pulled up a, a song from one of... There's only like two... There's a hip-hop group that I like, and then a sort of, sort of more modern rap, though I have no authority to speak on rap music whatsoever. Um, I just did just listen to my first Tribe Called Quest album the other day, Okay. Um, and I chose to listen to their first album, The People's Something About Rhythm and some Lifestyle, something, whatever. It's, it's a long title. Rather than their big album, which is called The Low End Theory, I sat down with the intention of doing The Low End Theory, which is that that is their song, Buggin' Out, which is, I think, their big song. If you're familiar with Tribe Called Quest, I wasn't really that much either, just a little bit. But anyway, so I have another hip hop album or reaction that's going to be coming out on the channel here soon. I don't know what order I'll do these videos in, but um, there is one modern, continuously running rap group that I do keep an eye on, and I enjoy a majority of their catalog. And they are a band called Mayday, and they have an up upside down exclamation point, Mayday downward sign exclamation point. So mm -hmm. that's how they're, they're stylized. But if you just type in Mayday exclamation point, they come up everywhere. Um, they're on Strange Music record label, which is Tone uh, 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 Tone, Lo uh, Tone Lokes record label, I think his name is. Okay. Very famous rapper. Um, they have There's a lot of rap groups and individual rappers on this label. Murs is on there, if you've ever heard of him. Mm -hmm. um, the thing that they are known for is having just phenomenal quality audio which I know I shouldn't say that before. You shouldn't say to that it. before. We just did a whole video about right, how right, you shouldn't say right. that before you but, show stuff. But to me. that specifically for me is one of the things that I like. And also they are a rap group. So there's multiple guys in it that rap and they feature in each song. And I personally like that. I like it when there's multiple rappers or MCs on each on in, within an each within a song so that they can pass things back and forth or just have verse one is one guy verse two is another guy the chorus can be more than just one person saying something uh, I like it when uh, choruses have some singing in them maybe or uh, gang vocals or whatever that's why I like Jurassic 5 so much for the people who are watching this and don't know very much about the channel whatever just go look at some of our other videos uh, if you're following the channel you'll know this is a different kind of video for us but I have not heard a second of this this is off of their new album that's coming out later this year. I have not heard any of the songs. I don't know what the approach of this is. Their last two albums have been very reggae influenced, and I haven't liked them as much because I I don't enjoy that style of music as much. Okay. And there's been a lot more singing. So they've done a lot more singing and a lot less rapping. However, I'm hoping we get more rapping and less singing on this song. I do think they're the guys are both uh, one of the guys that's in this band. His name is Recognize with a W at the beginning. Recognize. He's sort of like the big, the the main MC of this group, and he he released a solo album I think last year that I listened to a little bit of, and I think oh this is much more the direction of what I wish Mayday would do. So I'm hoping that leaked over into this a little bit, and it's more hip hop and a little bit less rap singy with uh, all sorts of pitch shifted vocals and things, which I don't necessarily care for. So we're just going to go ahead and watch, listen to this, watch it for the very first time. This is the first time either of us has experienced this at all. And we'll watch the visualizer, and I'll put it up on screen here uh, so that we can Oh, can this see. is just audio we're doing. This is just audio. I'll put it here in between us. But it is a visualizer, so we'll be able to see the lyrics, and I'll probably have to blur those out if there's any swear words, which there probably will be. Um, this is their new song called Ain't For Them. And let's just go ahead and listen to it. I don't know. I, like, like I said, I have no clue. This could be terrible. I don't know. Three minutes and 14 seconds. They keep telling me that I've been aging. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every time I say the world is changing. They keep listening all the same ish. Really, there ain't much that they can say when it's same for them. Same for them. Ooh, love the kick. Same for them. Love the snare. Ooh, female vocals. Love that. Love the gang vocal feel. You know, you can tell there's multiple people. Yes, this is what I want. This is what I want. We've been on the same plane, way above the second floor. Everybody trying to take a piece, and so I kept the Their board. vocals are always so crisp and so clear and so well recorded. All these years resembling consistency, they never win consistently. They tell 
tell a friend and maybe's on that next thing. That organ part's cool. That we should be like everyone. Or that in a game. This is like all my antennas inside the I think it's an electric piano. Electric piano. You know what I mean? It's playing a bass line. Yeah, yeah I the guess bass it, is just going. It's, it is like an electric piano thing. What? Because this is the other guy rapping. Oh. Dude, I love the snare. So they do actually have a drummer, and people yeah, who play the instrument. You can tell that it's a real drummer. Yeah. They they have a lot of guitar in their music a lot too. I'm not hearing a lot here, but. I love this. I love this. I guess we don't need to watch the video, really. Oh, it's just the album artwork. Just yeah. Zooming in and out. Okay. Yeah. That's cool, though. We're yeah. never going to have a video. I love his delivery. This is recognized. Now, this is the other guy. Or maybe not. They do have sort of similar sounding voices. Now, this is still recognized. You ain't on a list. You this is the other guy. You ain't part of this. You a counterfeit. You ain't one of us. This is for them ones going on them runs. Hiding from the sun after night is done. Just to feed their sons. I've been on a suicidal mission. Ever since I admitted that I'm a musician. There's some organ. This is for my spirit. Yeah. A little bit of that reggae coming in. Together we gonna do it to the end. Cause it's same for them. I love the female vocals in there. Very minimalistic, but you can tell they're there. And they add a little ooze in there, some ahs. I love the gang vocal feeling. Yes, that's all it needs to be. Don't need more than that. and it actually ended. Oh, oh, that was so good. I love that. Oh, that, that is what Mayday has not been doing for their last two albums. And that was great. I loved that. Um, okay, so that was, that was your, I think your first Mayday song you ever heard. So how did, I guess, how did you, I know you listen to hip hop rap stuff, maybe a little bit every now and then for the production, I think a little bit more than the actual enjoyment of it. Which I don't. Uh, I don't know about that. I don't know. I like it. If I'm going to listen to that kind of thing, I do like it. The whole time I was trying to decide. Hmm. How well, at old first I was. Is? No, that that only bothered me a minute. How over compressed it was, and I don't think it was that bad. Yeah. Um, after I figured out that it was real drums, which is not what I was expecting. I had no idea what any of that was. I've never heard anything by that band. I didn't know that band existed. Yeah. Yep. Um. But then I couldn't decide. If I like that kind of music, if I really liked it, that there wasn't the tick, 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 hi hat because okay, like okay. the hi like the hi hat was like the biggest thing. Also, the one production thing that I started paying attention to, like in the last thirty seconds, I couldn't quite figure out like the stereo thing that they were doing with the snare mm. because like really, there's not that many instruments in that song. There are lots of vocals and overdubs, and those are very wide and everywhere. Yes. Yeah. But like it still sounds really full, and it, it they I think that there was something different going on every other snare hit. That's exactly what I was gonna say. Yep, I think it was in every other snare hit thing. But like, yeah, because one seemed like this wasn't everything that was going on, but one seemed like it was more right down the middle, and then the other one seemed like it was really spread out, yep. and I couldn't quite figure out. It's probably I mean it's just a delay thing. But I, I really I really like the way the drums sounded in that a lot. The kick was massive. And in my opinion, that's what it should be with this. And I think like it had it had like a punchiness to it, which is not necessarily it did it. I, thought, I don't know. That's what I felt right away. I, I, I stopped listening to the drums once he started rapping. And I was I was listening to that a little bit more. I just one thing that's always impressed me about Mayday is the quality of the vocals. I really think the cl and maybe maybe it's just because I don't listen to rap very much, but like the dryness and the clarity with of ju it just like it's the that's like the clearest it could be it could sound huh I, in my opinion and okay. i think that that's one of the things i've always loved about this group and the fact that it is kind of a band so that you never know what they're going to throw into their music in terms of like they do have a guitar player that performs with them and stuff so you know they they have they can have different elements in their songs that are it's so unique and different because they're a band 
in, in some way. I mean, they, they have a bass player, a drummer, and a guitar player, I think, that plays with them when they perform live. Sometimes. Sometimes I think they don't do have a band at all. It's just like the DJ and the, the rappers. But uh, there's actual dudes in the music or in the band, in the group whose job it is, is to make the music and not just. Right. You know what I mean? And that's I, I prefer that style of of group. Uh, but there's I haven't been able to find a lot that I enjoy consistently enough to say, like, I like this group. But Mayday is like really the only modern continuously running rap or hip hop group that I, I, I do enjoy. Um, and they, they do really cool things on their albums. Not that we're listening to an album, but they do a lot of cool things where they'll have a song that's like, like one of my favorite songs of theirs is, is just about going to a dive bar. And so the whole time there's like bar noise in it and there's like... Um, the, the the instruments are coming from farther away and it almost sounds like it's more of a live performance rather than something super produ- produced like that it is still over it is still superly produced uh, but there's elements in the song that have more room feel to them and everything and the fact that they're able to do that i think is really cool and they're like a, a pretty versatile group in terms of this like i was saying at the end there i love the inclusion of the female vocals and just making them so barely in there that they didn't really matter overall. But the fact that they were there made it special to me. You know, she just had one line at the end. And other than that, she was just included in the second and third chorus, gang vocal part. And uh, and and then there was like a little ooh thing going into the last chorus. One thing that is a bit of a bummer is that that is the structure that they have been using on their songs for their last few albums. And I kind of wish that there was one more section because there was no bridge in that song. It was just the chorus, verse one, chorus, verse two, chorus, and it was done. And that is the structuring of their songs that they have been doing for the last few albums. And I feel like there's a piece missing. I wish that there would be a third part to every song. I think that's good. Yeah, you think it's short and sweet and get to the point, stay there, and then it's over? Yeah, I mean, there could have been a, there could have been a different part and like the sure there could have been some sort of change because it was kind of samey the whole time and like whatever that's also not out of line for the genre because right it was the same baseline the whole time that baseline rips and you can play that for you know three minutes well yeah sure it's played on an electric keyboard patch or whatever it was but yeah well baseline for sure it was just the function of a bass but i i specifically mentioned that it was electric keyboard because i liked the sound of it like i i thought oh i recognize that sort of sound and yeah, you could even say that it was a synth bass, um, but I, I liked that that was what they chose to put there, you know, because when you when you're talking about music like this, the possibilities are infinite, right? It's not you're not limited to the what, what your bass and your amp sound like. It's literally they could put anything in there. And so it's always fascinating to me to think like, oh, what was the process that went into making because because you could program that and then choose from any one of millions of sounds, right? So how did they end up with that specific sound? And with a band like this, it could have been that a dude st- sat there and played that on a keyboard. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Because it, it felt, you know, uh, like, you know, it could have been programmed, but it also could have been played by a human being. And, and that's cool. And the idea that they chose those specific sounds to be in there, I always think about that when, I, when a song's more of kind of like an electronic song, which that was... Kind of an electronic song, you know, there's a lot of production loops, things like, like that thrown into that. Um, you know, it's more of that, I feel, like, than a band performing. But when I hear something like that, one of the things I always think of is why these specific sounds that they chose. When you have every sound in existence, every patch known to man, why this specific patch? And why does it work? Why doesn't it work? How loud should it be? Whatever. It's those types of things I think about when I think about the mix. Because huh. I think that it could have been a little bit louder that part the bass bassy synth keyboard part really but uh but then maybe the the because the real bass was just on the downbeat of every measure going and uh that maybe would have been less accentuated had that been louder whatever but i do like the mix overall that's being the first snippet of this album that i have heard i am super fired up now to hear the whole album i really like that a lot good Awesome. Well, this video doesn't need to be more than this unless you have anything else you want to add. I liked it. Good. I'm glad you did. I've been kind of debating about showing you Mayday for the last couple of years just because I feel like some of the production stuff they do is really cool. Like I mentioned that dive bar song. Um, But they also have an album that is much more of a rock album with like distorted guitars and stuff. And and it's their first album called Believers or called, uh, sorry, no, um, Take Me to Your Speaker. Take Me to Your Leader is the name of the album. And then they released the instrumental version called Take Me to Your Speaker, which is awesome as well because it's just the beats 
So I can throw that on and listen to that every now and then. That's really cool too. I like bands that do that kind of stuff, like release instrumental versions and stuff. I think that's really cool. Why? Because that to me is background music. It's hard for me to listen to music with uh, with lyrics in it as background music, which I know I always say I don't care about the lyrics. I know that's probably a little hypocritical of it's me to a, say. Unbelievably hypocritical. But but for me, it's hard to not focus on the music when the when the vocal element is there. It, huh. To me, it's just that's the thing I say it all the time. That's the thing that you follow through the song, and so when I listen to instrumental music, for me, that means background music. Instrumental music equals background music. Um, and there's a lot of really good applications for background music in life when you're doing things, or I've been having a lot of trouble sleeping, uh, you know, the last couple months. And so if I put on something that's just instrumental, I'm not following it. You know what I mean? Like my brain's not wanting to follow the story of anything or follow the journey of the song. It's just a constant thing that's there. And hip hop music is just a constant beat, cool beat that's very repetitive and can help me go to sleep. Huh. Weird. Usually I listen to acoustic instrumental music though, like just acoustic guitar playing. Cause I think that's like the most beautiful, gorgeous sound on the planet, but not strumming acoustic guitar, just finger picking stuff. But anyway, okay. It's unbelievably specific. It's, yeah. Yep. Well, it's really hard to find the exact words to tell Google to play. <laughs> tell, I'll, tell, I'll tell you about that. All right. That's all this video needs to be. Thank you very much for watching. I'm looking forward to Mayday. I will do a reaction to the new Mayday album when it comes out. That they're a band that I will do that for. Thank you very much, and we will see you next time.